Part 2. Installing steel base cabinets and fillers. The instructions in this demonstration are basic guides and are not intended to cover all situations that may arise in the installation process. There will be specific conditions for each project which will need to be managed as they occur. Kiwani steel cabinets come from the factory fully assembled and ready for installation. To install the cabinets and fillers, you will need the following tools and hardware. We recommend a drill for drilling pilot holes, an impact gun for driving screws, a carpenter's level, a laser level, a Kiwani leveling tool, a minimum of two welder's clamps, and proper safety equipment. You will also need a quantity of half inch and one and a quarter inch self-tapping screws. These attachment screws are not included with the cabinets. The installation manual, which can be downloaded from Kiwani.com, should be read carefully before beginning the installation. Compare the drawings in the packing list before beginning your installation. A lot of time and effort can be saved if all items are separated as they are unpacked and taken to their respective place of installation. To help separate the units required to install a full elevation, each item is identified with a label showing the order number, part number, product line number, and room slash elevation number if it was provided with the order. When units that form a full elevation are close to their respective final location, arrange the units according to how they are shown on the drawings. The critical next step is ensuring the cabinets are level to the building. In order to accomplish this, you will need to locate the highest point on the floor. This is done by using a laser level to establish a reference point along the wall. By measuring the distance from the floor to that line, along the elevation, the high and low points of the floor are established. Once the high point is determined, take this measurement to the starting location on the elevation to define the height of the first unit. All units must be at the same height. Finding the high point allows you to correct unevenness in the floor which in turn gives you a leveling height of the full elevation. The line can be marked with a laser level or a standard level. After leveling the cabinets, the next step will be installing filler panels if there are any on the end of the cabinet runs. If the end of a cabinet run is exposed, filler panels must be installed prior to installing your first cabinet. The filler panel should be fitted to the cabinet with clamps, flush with the cabinet side and top edge, and attached from the inside of the cabinet with half inch self-tapping screws. It is important to attach from the inside of the cabinet so that when the work surface is installed, the filler panel can be removed to provide service space access from behind the cabinets. Place the first cabinet into its final position and level it with the leveling bolts. Kiwani cabinets have holes in the top four corners that allow the cabinets to be leveled from above with a proprietary leveling tool or with a quarter inch socket, extension, and impact gun. The proprietary leveling tool is available through Kiwani. To obtain the tool, contact your Kiwani customer service representative. All four sides of the cabinet must be leveled, as well as from corner to corner for proper installation. Achieving proper level is a paramount to a successful installation outcome. Position the next cabinet and level it in the same manner. For the joints of the cabinets to look uniform, use the welding clamps to hold the cabinets flush at the front and top. For door cabinets, remove one of the existing hinge screws. Then, using a one and a quarter inch long self-tapping screw, Attach one cabinet to the other using the vacant hinge hole. On the back of the unit, use half inch long self-tapping screws making sure these are hidden from eyesight, typically in the upper rear cabinet side. If the cabinet has no hinges, remove the drawers and note the order in which they were removed. This is critical as they must be replaced in the original slot to maintain factory adjustment. 
Make the attachment using half inch long self tapping screws placed directly behind the vertical front rail, making sure they are not visible. Repeat the above process until all cabinets in the elevation are installed, being sure to check the fronts and the tops of the cabinets so they are flush, plumb, and leveled properly. Lastly, each cabinet should be checked to make sure all leveling bolts are touching the floor. It is important to keep in mind that if the structure of the site where the installation is being done is not completely cured or settled, this can cause the cabinets to lose their leveling and doors and drawers to lose adjustment. If doors and drawers seem out of alignment, usually this is caused by the cabinets being incorrectly leveled or the site being settled.